A very warm welcome to today's lesson and we have a quadratic equation here and we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve that. The first thing I like to do is to write out the values of a, b and c, make it very clear. The a value is the coefficient of the x squared term, so that is 2. The b value is the coefficient of the x term, that's negative 5. And the c, well that's the constant, it's negative 4. I can now perform the substitution step. So x is minus b, and b is negative 5, so we put that in brackets, negative 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 5 squared, minus 4, multiplied by a, which is 2, multiplied by c, which is negative 4. Now that's all over 2a, so 2 multiplied by 2. Now you notice here I did not perform any calculations, no simplification whatsoever. This is just the substitution step. And I really want to stress that because in exams there is usually a mark available for that substitution step. So do not simplify and don't perform any calculations at that step. Okay, we can go ahead and we can simplify. These two negatives here would give us a positive. So we've got plus five. We don't need to write the plus, but we'll pop it in. We've got plus or minus. Then we've got the square root of negative five squared, which is 25. We have this negative here and this one, that gives a positive. And we've got 4 times 4 is 16, times 2 is 32. So 32, and that is all over 4. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. So we've got 5 plus or minus. The square root, this is 57. And that is all over 4. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.